living organisms are divided into three major groups. The bacteria, the archaea, and the eukarya. The establishment and organization of these groups, called domains, is based on comparisons of nucleotide sequences of ribosomal RNA. Bacteria and archaea are similar in cell structure and are referred to as prokaryotes. These two groups can be distinguished by a number of important characteristics. All higher organisms, protista, plants, fungi, and animals share a common cell structure and are referred to as eukaryotes. Eukaryotic cells contain a nuclear membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, and organelles such as mitochondria and chloroplasts, whereas prokaryotic cells do not. In bacteria and archaea, protein synthesis occurs on 70S ribosomes, made up of 30S and 50S subunits, whereas in eukaryotic cells, translation occurs on 80S ribosomes, made up of 40S and 60S subunits. S values are based on the size, shape, and weight of a particle, which accounts for why the sum of subunits of the ribosome does not equal the S value of the intact ribosome. Histone proteins associated with the DNA of eukaryotic cells are generally lacking in bacteria but present in archaea. Archaea histones are similar in structure to eukaryotic histones. Small amounts of protein are associated with maintaining the organization of bacterial DNA. Most bacteria and archaea have a cell wall. The bacterial cell wall contains peptidoglycan as well as proteins, polysaccharides, and lipids. The archaeal cell wall contains no peptidoglycan but does contain proteins, polysaccharides, and lipids. Cell walls are also present in eukaryotes such as plants, algae, and fungi, but are lacking in animal cells and protozoa. Plant cell walls contain cellulose and lignans, whereas fungal cell walls contain chitin. The cell membranes of bacteria and eukarya contain phospholipids consisting of esters of glycerol, whereas the cell membranes of all archaea contain ethers of glycerol.